cow. Man, oh man. Look at this. This is the time of year when anything can happen. <laughs> guys welcome back um, so weird we're having just the strangest weather uh, just this week we had a big snowstorm and now it's raining uh, which is actually why I'm here I'm gonna spend the day maybe the night down here and uh, get this place ready for for the rain a little bit super weird being out here and hearing the sound of the rain on the roof uh, this time of year. Normally that's like a, a spring and summer thing. On the one hand, it's kind of a bummer to get our nice fresh snow all wet and, and gross and slippery. But on the other hand, like the sound of the rain and everything is like super relaxing. So I'm, I'm conflicted. Well, it appears as though we've got a, a slight break in the rain. It's still coming down a little bit, just a, a light sprinkle. And uh, I figured while we're not getting soaked, might as well uh, get this tarp set up. I've got an idea here for how I can uh, really protect our wood pile. Wow, so take a look, this turned out amazing. You know, the front here especially is super protected. I can lift the tarp up, I can even drape it over the top here and have access to the wood below. For the most part, this thing is absolutely protected. I think it turned out great. Got a little medley of uh, <laughs> of ingredients here: hash browns, chicken, onions. That's about it.
wish I had eggs to go with this, but I, I do not. This was kind of a spur of the moment trip. We do, however, have some cheese and my favorite hot sauce, Tapatio. All right, a little breakfast burrito. You'll get a little bit, don't worry. Although there is onions, so maybe you won't. Sorry, girl. Thank you for this food and uh, for this time in the woods. Amen. Mm. Very spicy. Here you go. There's no onions. Is it good? Yeah? Well, it would appear that our rain turned into a little bit of snow here. Look at this. So this right here is from a turkey. Ellie found this. I don't know if it was a week ago or two weeks ago. I have footage of it. So we're, we're cutting to that footage right now. I threw it off over in this direction, yes. But how in the world did it end up in this tree? Uh, clearly someone had to have put this up there. It's just really bizarre because I, I never see anyone hiking through here. <laughs> Hi, Al. Is this making you nervous? All right, I'll come down. I'm gonna jump. So guys, this is the time of year when you start to see um, potentially some deer antler sheds. With all this snow, it's probably going to be hard to find any, but you never know. So we're going to walk the deer trails and see what we can find. So if you look right here, this is a spot where the deer are bedding down. It's where they're sleeping or just hanging out. These are spots to look. Ellie's pretty good at this too. She found the set last year, so chances are if there is one laying around right now, she'll find it. Deep snow, huh, Al? Okay, well, we didn't find any sheds. Um, this is the one I was talking about that we found last year. I have no doubt we'll find one eventually. I decided we're definitely gonna spend the night tonight. I just have to uh, get some work done. This is how I can pull this off is a lot of times I do work for my job down here. Um, and so I'm gonna do that and we'll check in with you guys closer to dinner time. Went pretty basic for dinner tonight. Just some good old fashioned chicken noodle soup. This was a spur of the moment trip. And uh, sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. Tried and true.
just a little toast tonight. Those of you who have been around the channel for a little while know that this is somewhat of a tradition just to have a dab of whiskey and enjoy the silence, the crackling of the fire, the flicker of the candlelight. And, and tonight is extra special because uh, in two weeks exactly, Riley and I will be parents. Our baby girl will be here. Um, she's being induced. And uh, man, what, what a time to be alive. Just the turning of a page, a new chapter, a beautiful new chapter. I used to spend days, hours, weeks exploring this country and, and uh, off on adventures by myself. And now, not only do I have um, my amazing wife, but we're gonna have our baby girl uh, along for the journey with us. So, cheers to this next chapter in life. six I'm up because we gotta get going early this morning what do you think Al is it too early <laughs> it says it all Sounds like more rain. I was expecting some snow, but I think we should go out and take a look. At least poke our head out the door. All right, let's go see what's going on. Now come out. As you can see, it's definitely coming down. Look at this. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> That's a lot of sleet. <sighs> so this is kind of what we were hearing. I was gonna say it is just good old fashioned snow, but you can see those are little, little ice chunks. That's what we're hearing. Let's see if we can catch a couple. Yeah, see? That's a little ice chunk. There's some ice. Very wild. I had someone say to me recently that this is the time of year when anything can happen. <laughs> and uh, that's true. What do you think, Al? I think you should get back inside, huh? You wanna go back in? Ellie wants to go for a walk. I'm not set up for a walk, Al. Look how pretty it is, though. Man, the new setup is definitely doing its job. Look at that, that would all be on our wood. Come on, Ellie. Let's get back inside. Dog. Definitely was not expecting that. Well, we started with rain. We got a little snow. Ended off with a little sleet.
All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, what an interesting 24 hours down here. You know, to have rain, then, you know, a little bit of snow and, and then sleet. It really just shows how crazy the, the winter to spring transition is, especially in a place like Minnesota. The baby is coming in two weeks. Uh, we're so excited. We'll keep you guys posted. I also have some adventures uh, that I've recorded. So we're gonna continue to have videos even throughout that birth process. So you can expect more content uh, and we're just so appreciative for your support. And um, if you like the channel and you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that. Like, comment, all that good stuff because it really helps us out. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Come on now.